Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode of my new Rogue Tech series called It's Jenkins. So the idea behind this series is our main guy, whose last name is Jenkins, is an ex-representative um, for the Quicksell Corporation. And while he still works freelance for them, he's not a full-time employee. So the idea behind this series is in order to get himself uh, some good funds, what he's doing is he's making videos uh, much like... Uh, um, What's his name? Brock Armstrong or Brock? I used to call him Brock Lanahan, the guy that videotapes all his uh, mech encounters on different planets. So that's the kind of idea behind this one. Our main pilot is actually going to be using his quick cell mech, which has got some major alterations to it. I've changed it a bit. Um, I thought about using it stock, but then I'm like, ah, I, I needed to get the lands to a certain to a certain point that would make it work. Um, but for the most part, it's mostly quick sell gear. So the idea is to get into battle, show what the quick sell mech can do, and then, you know, get out of battle. Now, in order for us to move forward, our main pilot has to always be piloting a quick sell mech. So we need to make sure as we're grabbing salvage to be upgrading as we go along. And as you may have gathered from the very beginning, like the, the intro, uh, we're dealing with a commando to start. So let's have a quick look at the mech bay. Now, I've already advanced the timeline. You'll notice we're a little bit ahead um, <clears throat> into the game. I haven't actually taken any missions at all yet. All I've done is uh, advanced forward in the timeline in order to get our quick sell mech, to get the first uh, few Argo upgrades, to outline, uh, outfit my mechs how I wanted them, just get them all repaired. That kind of stuff takes a long time and it gets a little boring. So I just skipped over all that and I figured we could just get straight into the fight. But before we do that, let's have a look at the uh, mech bay here. We can take a look at what we're dealing with. So uh, if I go to storage real quick, you'll see what else we picked up. We picked up a Wasp 3M, which isn't bad. It's a uh, more advanced version of the Wasp. And we had a flea with large laser and stuff. We put those guys in storage so I could take some parts off them. Our mech bay, we got the quick sell commando. We picked up an assassin, a clint, and a stealth as our original mechs. Which isn't bad. I had to do some work. The assassin and the clint were both very just stock versions. Uh, both of them with almost no armor. The assassin had an LRM-5 and a, and a medium pulse laser, I think. And the clint had two medium and an AC-5. So it's we had a really relatively weak start. But I'm going to show you what I've done with the mechs. Just so you can get a good idea. Let's start with the stealth because I did the very least amount of work to this guy. He was already pretty good to start with. So if we have a quick look at the refit here. You can see what this guy's outfitted with. Now, uh, the remote sensor, this came off of the um, our quick cell commando. I moved it over to this guy because I got other stuff in the commando. So this mech started off with three ER medium lasers. Um, it had one additional jump jet that I pulled out. We're leaving six in it though. Had pretty good armor to start, so I didn't really touch that too much. Um, I was able to add a mine dispenser because we pulled out the mask. You know me, I, I forget to turn things on and off. So I figure 2.25 tons, I'll pull the mask out. We added a little bit of armor. Like I said, we, I was able to buy a mine dispenser, so I dropped that in here. Um, this one is actually not that bad to start. It's got a Beagle Probe. It's pretty fast, like it's 711, I think, movement speed. 710. So it's pretty fast. We got some good maneuverability, so I'm hoping to get some good use out of this guy. I was almost able to max the armor out, but not quite. But for the first few battles, I'm not really that worried about it. Once we get some armor and, and a new gyro and stuff, we should be able to fix that problem. All right, so the Clint. I had to do a lot of work on the Clint. Um, and I had to buy an engine core so our issue is is that I didn't have anything to give to give me extra weight to be able to increase the armor on this guy so I had to drop the core to a 220 which I had to buy in the store this had a 240 before so that gave us mm, this is saying 11 tons I think it was four tons four and a half tons it was actually a fair bit it gave us so I was able to drop an additional heat sink in. I moved the ammo from the arm into here. 
I cranked up the armor, heavily left side armor um, increase. The back has all been increased. I've been noticing the, uh, the enemy has been maneuvering around behind me um, quite a fair bit. I've actually played around a little bit with this new version. I just wanted to get a sense of what it was like. And in lighter mech battles, the enemy does tend to maneuver around behind you a fair bit. So having good back armor to start is always a good, good option now, I think. So that's what I've done. I also was able to buy a Mind Dispenser 10 to add a little bit of punch to this guy. But like I said, other than the heat sink, dropping the engine, the Mind Dispenser, oh, and adding a bolt-on Rocket 15, this guy is pretty much the same. He's very slow. He's like a 5-8 movement now. Uh, he was a 6-9 before. Uh, I might even drop the engine down one more, and we'll use this as a long-range fire, long range fire support mech, but for right now, um, that's kind of all this guy's got. And then the Assassin was the one that I kind of did the most work to. Well, the Quick Cell Commando I did a bunch of work to too, but this guy really needed the work because he had almost no armor at all. So this guy had a 280 core originally. So I dropped that. I took the engine from the Clint and put it in here to drop it slightly. Now we were a 711 movement before. Now we're 69. So it's the speed has gone down a fair bit. Um, but what I was able to do with those extra tonnages is max out the armor almost completely, which is great. We got a little bit lower in the in the legs, and a little bit lower on the uh, left hand side here. But everything else, the right hand side, is all cranked up. I was able to drop the ferro fibers, which we I were able to get out of the wasp, I believe. So that went in here. Um, we have one extra heat sink, and what I ended up doing was dropping in an exchanger that I was able to buy in the store bolt-on tandem 15 that I was able to buy in the store. Pulse laser was stock. Uh, the case came out of, I think it was the Wasp. Pretty sure it was the Wasp. It came out of one of my other mechs, so I was able to drop that in here. I was able to buy a ton of mag pulse ammo, and the SRM-10 quick sell came out of our commando. So I was able to drop it in here to increase the firepower. This thing had an LRM-5 in here. So a medium pulse laser and an LRM-5 just is not enough for a mech at all, really. It's, it all, for especially for 40 tons, it was kind of a waste of like space. So I think what I've done is actually pretty good here. We got this thing giving a nice, you know, hefty puncher. Uh, I know it's only 60 damage because the I think the damage on the missiles is lower on this, uh, which is fine. Uh, we got 10 shots though as opposed to 6. But we've got acid ammo and mag pulse ammo which is going to more than um, make up for the fact that there's 10 of them here. Now the Artemis system, this came off of... What did this come off of? Oh, I think this came off of the stealth? This came off something, I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was the stealth that it came off of. I pulled it off one of my other mechs. Anyway, I dropped it in, or maybe I bought it in the store. I can't, I, honestly, I can't remember where I got this from now. But I dropped it in here because it does it give us uh, one evasion ignored. And finally, when we can get some SRM um, um, Artemis ammo, we'll drop that in here as well. So that's the goal anyway. So at least hopefully this guy's got a better chance with the uh, SRMs to hit. And that's it for the Assassin. And then for our main commando. Now this guy just started off with that... Uh, SRM-4 and that was pretty much it. Oh, actually, actually, yeah, it was the SRM-4 and that was it. Um, so it didn't have much to start with. So I pulled that off. I was able to get a medium Rex laser. That came in the original quick sell start that we get. So you get a couple of items, a couple of quick sell items to start with when you choose the sales rep. You get a mech and then you get a few other items. And I think I, think I picked up the medium Rex laser uh, a bunch of ammo. I think it was two LRM five, two LRM five quick cells. It might have been f all four of them. I'm pretty sure it was just two of them, but it could have been all four. A probe king, uh, a warfare suite quick cell. So we picked up some good stuff. This case two actually came off of this mech, so we've got that as well. So we've got a few things here that we can use. My goal with this mech was to um, strip it down a little bit because. Um, we had a plenty of um, extra double heat sinks here. It had a small cockpit in here originally, or sorry, the compact life support, which gave us half a ton. It had the engine removal minus four heat sinks, which 
is okay because it gives you an extra time, but that just means you have to put four heat sinks out here. And I wanted to remove those um, as a chance from being crit hitted because if we get crit hitted, then we had nothing to replace these things with because buying quick sell double heat sinks is almost impossible in stores. I can't find them anywhere. We had a compact actuator in the shoulder, which I removed. Um, it removes accuracy with arm mounted weapons, reduces your melee damage, and reduces your chance to be able to stand up. But it also gives you uh, 0.25 tonnage, and it actually um, gives you a couple more slots here, right? So you get a couple more um, uh, whatever slots. At least you're supposed to. Why is it just removing? Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's giving me two slots there. Sorry, I wasn't seeing where the slots were coming in. But yeah, it gives you a couple of extra slots. So I mean, if you're okay with it being there, sure, more power to you. But I just removed as much of the stuff as I could. Now the only detriment that we have right now with the quick sell is the Viewmaster cockpit, plus 80 meters uh, base sight distance, which is awesome for targeting. But it's minus 66 percent uh, armor point multiplier to the head. So right now we have 45. Um, armor in the head that when we get into battle you notice that'll be 15 so if we get hit in the head we're pretty much toast we just have to be very careful about that but that being said i was able to buy a small pulse laser in the store this medium pulse laser i think came off of um the wasp so i was able to drop a small and a medium pulse laser and the rex laser in here and our heat sinking is actually quite good we're pretty much flush so I had to do quite a bit of maneuvering. Oh yeah, also the endo steel also came off the wasp. So that was added to here. We didn't have anything on here before, so this gave us an extra ton of weight. So yeah, adding that in. Now we're still short by almost a ton here. So we do have some room to wiggle and put stuff in. I haven't decided what I wanted to do yet. Um, I'm waiting for the first few battles. Hopefully we can pick up some more quick sell gear and outfit this with a little more. But in order for us to survive, these first few battles, I needed to kind of max out my lance as best I could. And with what I had, I think I did a pretty good job. Now, we do have a few other things here that we could be dropping in. We don't really have very many weapons. We've got a large laser, but, you know, early game, you don't want to, unless you've only got one laser hard point, you want to try to maximize the amount of shots you get off in order to be able to get some damage in. Like, we've only got three hard points on this mech, so three lasers, one of them being a pulse laser, two of them being X, like an X pulse and a Rex laser, which give us you know, plus one chance to hit, and this is like plus one chance, to, like, or, or, yeah, plus one accuracy and evasion and ignore. So this is upgrading our chance to actually do damage. Now, these bolt-on incendiary rockets were already on here, so I just left them on. And that's about it for the mechs. Now, as far as pilots go, uh, we didn't actually pick up any pilots that were of any real use, <laughs> unfortunately. So Jenkins started off uh, with Max, and I went to go ahead went ahead and um, grabbed escapist because I have a feeling we're probably going to need at the start. Um, so I grabbed escapist as my um, main skill here. Uh, we'll probably go into gunnery next. I'm not 100% sure, but that's probably the next way we'll go. But as you'll notice here, we've only got a handful of pilots that are okay. We didn't get any, any advanced pilots, which is a little weird because normally you get one or two that are okay, but not in this case. So we've got, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I know who's going to be piloting what. We've got everybody outfitted and uh, decorated here, so we all look pretty good. Um, so we have a full, our full uh, Lance here. Calling the Lance Lucky 8s, there's eight of us. And we went with the C-Bill and ammo, uh, or the uh, the uh, 50 caliber round, it looks like here, as our uh, company symbol. Now, uh, that being said, having a quick look at engineering, we'll just take a look at what we've managed to increase as we started uh we got the second mech bay which is obvious we got automation to get that at 100 percent which is obvious the training module which is obvious and one thing that i decided to do instead of going into recreation was i went to the power systems this took 20 days but gave us plus one morale and plus one tech point and we're working on this one now another tech point another point of morale so that you know covers these two and you know the first one are here for because this gives you plus two morale uh, it covers those off as what I would normally do. Um, but I want the power systems up as fast as possible because it takes 30 days to, to get this up and running. And if it's already done, then when we later on when we want to get our next dropship and all that stuff, it'll be a, just a little faster to do that. That's my, that was my only thinking. 
and it was relatively cheap. It wasn't that that expensive. But anyway, I started off with max currency. We had six and a half million to start. We're down to two million, which I think is you know pretty good for a start. And as far as setting goes for the series, we have three Mac parts assembly to put a Mac together. We've got experience at slow. So I went with my standard start that I would normally go with. Experience at slow. The Ronin pilots, 0%. So we're not going to be finding any named pilots unless we get some kind of rare event or something very rare. It was at 0%. Uh, starting experience for the main pilot is 10,000. And that was pretty much it for the for the top half. Then for the bottom half, all I did was make the experienced mech pilots rare as opposed to common. So it's really hard to find experienced regular mech warriors. I bumped up the number of mech warriors per system from 5 to 7. Just gives us a little more options when we get there. We might find somebody, we might not. Um, and then the last thing I did was... Uh, the start, which is a Marian hegemony start, which is where we are right now. If you have a look at the map, we are in the bottom left corner. On deck. So the goal for this series, like I said, our main pilot is, a, is still working as freelance for Quick Cell Corporation, and he's videotaping his fights to try and show uh, how well the Quick Quick Cell gear can can work in most normal situations. Uh, and then we're, we're going to move into more extreme situations later on. We're going to try and take on some of the heavier, um, uh, what do you call it, the heavier um, flashpoint missions. So I'm going to look into doing some of those, and I'm sure there's other stuff around. Now, we've got the um, time set to be at the latest stage um, of the map. So we've got, as you notice, Merrick is mostly gone here. And this is Merrick Stewart Commonwealth. We've got uh, the Capella Confederation, uh, Orient Protectorate. This should still be the Federated Sons. Or Republic of the Sphere. Sorry, Federated Sons is over here, right? Still, yep. And then we've got Ghost Bear, Wolf, uh, Jade Falcon, and Hell's Horses in the game. So there's a lot to uh, be taking on. Which, uh, which one is this? Test Drive, Comstar. What's the uh, 135 days to get there? Or 135 days till it's gone. We have 48 days to get there. And what is the skull rating? One. So this is basically just test drive. It's a long... I can't remember this one. I may have to go look online to see if it's something that we want to do little in a little bit. But right now we're at a half skull world. we got to get our lance going. Uh, we've got to see how these guys are going to operate. So um, the last thing too are the vehicle that we got to start with. Is just a technical it's just a truck 10 ton truck so you get a chance to see that in the first battle which i know we're going to do here command center i know what we're doing it's good to see you in Oscar. first battle we're going to do is the straight up recovery battle i thought about going straight into one of these i want to try and max out our um rep with the uh, marion hegemony to start just to get better gear uh in stores and stuff but for right now i'm thinking that um we're going to hold off doing these ones which i think might be a little bit more tricky and just go straight with a recovery mission just to test our lance out. Worst case scenario, we can get in real fast with the stealth, grab stuff, and get out. So let's just negotiate this one. And we're going to go full salvage, of course. We're going to try and kill everything, obviously. That's that's our goal. So the commandos first. We're going to run the assassin second, Clint third, stealth last. And there's our 10-ton cargo truck with a heavy rocket launcher five, rocket five, one heavy machine gun, and a periphery rifle with no armor. Seven, seven ten movement speed, so let's hope that... Uh, Shit doesn't go south for him. So Hardlock is actually going to be the gun technical guy. Uh, so what did I decide here? Uh, Vengeance is a good pilot name for an assassin. Um, Road Rash, I think we were going to put in the stealth because the stealth is relatively fast. And then it was Nuke, which I'm putting in the Clint. I want Nuke to be sort of my um, heavy weapons mech pilot just because of the name. He's brave too, so he's also got plus one resolve and stuff, which is nice. So a lot of the pods don't have much. So Vengeance is just dependable. Merchant, Spacer, um, Road Rash, Athletic, so bonus health. And then Hardlock is just a noble with ex-military, minus one recoil and stuff. So an officer. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then Jenkins, of course. We started off with Bookish and Lostic. I, I took History. I was going to take... I was going to take um, gambler but that gave me jinxed and i'm already getting jinxed from being the uh the sales rep so i decided to uh, go with history 
which is basically bookish, and uh, Lost Tech, which helps out a little bit. And of course, we got Merchants and Jinxed, Jinxed, plus one evasion gain. So I get plus three evasion gained, minus one defense, so I hope I don't get punched. But I think the uh, Commando has got the narrow profile, which also gives you plus one defense, so that just negates that right there. All right, let's just go. Yeah, I know the Commando's got on use space. Command interface initiated. Well, here we go. Likely to be well defended, eh? Well, it's always well defended. When isn't it? Okay, well, the truck's not going to do very well out here. That's the standard start location, is it not? We have to go up the hill to here. Where do we want to start? Probably back this way. We come across the top rather than being down in a valley. Let's drop up here if we can. Uh, we probably have to hit Alt just to make sure we're landing half decent. So that's the Assassin, the Clint, and the Stealth can go there. And then our truck. Uh, come on. Let's just drop it where the Clint is. He can be standing over top of it. All right, we should probably just be facing one lance here, but we'll see what happens. It is one skull, it might not be. All right, well, what do we got? Urban Mech, Commando 2i, all right. Um, this is the R62, looks like he's got ballistic and energy, is that? Interesting, is that the one with the PPC and the AC2? Could very well be. 2i, I have no idea. All right, well, Orders. it's Jenkins. Let's get up here. Four chevrons of evasion, it's not bad. I was hoping for more, but we're de definitely gonna ha have to find a better quick sell mech, oh, something with a little more speed. I wish I could change the uh, engine in these things, but I can't, unfortunately, so. Yeah, it's uh, not giving us a good, <laughs> that's, not, that's not giving me uh, good vibes here. All right, we'll take a pot shot at this guy. Behind you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Failed to connect. You did. Okay, should be a whole another urban mech RFF one, Commando two I. I was thinking because it's one urban mech. Usually it's a full lance of Urbies, but which might might mean there might be another. Uh, Urban mech lance. Should get the technical, eh? Well, he's in fire now. Oof! Hit the Clint with the AC two. Commander, get out of that fire, and get to some place they can't see you. Uh, let's get to. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think these hills are blocking their line of sight. So we're going to move into here. Going full throttle. We're going to take some damage from that fire. There's nothing we can do about it. Get to a strike position where we can just kind of zip in, unload, and zip out. Okay, full sprint. Let's see how the assassin's doing here speed-wise. That's actually not that bad. Flames on the way, huh? Guess we can avoid it by walking. Mm, we're gonna have garbage chance to hit anyway at the start, so let's just get up. Understood. I'll Moving take the back. flames. I mean, I know we could walk and stuff, but then I'd be not getting as far as I want to get. So, actually, you have a really good chance to hit. Got 10 turns of acid, so let's go with acid on this guy. And we move that up to the top. Not click it off, move it to the top. And... Unless we want to screw this guy's heat sinking. Nah. Let's go with acid. Not bad. Yeah, I'm glad I put that, uh... What's up, boss? That SRM in that guy. Okay, they're gonna get a chance to see us, so we're gonna move up as far as we can. Just running. I could drop... We have to get up there. I was thinking we could drop the mines up there, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's put some sensors on this guy as well. Oh, not that way. This way. 
I don't think it matters if this is first or not, but let's drop it first. Sure, why not? Streak hit, that's nice. Ooh, head hit, nice. Alright, Nuke, let's get that AC5 into play. Get up to here. Save those rockets for a better chance to hit. It's nice that my lance is well, relatively well balanced in speed here. Yeah, the AC5. I gotta remember to keep the turning this on and off depending on the range. We switch to short range. I'm already in targeting mode, that's why. So we're at long range. Short range, I think we have to be within... Oh, it's even clo better here? So the medium lasers have gone to 2023. The, so the medium lasers have a better chance to hit and less for the AC5. So I think we want to go short range. Go better with the AC because, I mean, next round we're going to be closer anyway. So I'll think I'll think I'll, I think I'll take the extra 11% with the uh, auto cannon. Yes. Well worth it. Have a seat, buddy. So I gotta make it so that we actually doing the best we can to salvage as many quick sell mechs as possible. I'm here. Cause ultimately, I mean I'd love to have one lance that was all quick sell. And then Ooh. Where do I wanna go? Where are these guys not gonna get a shot at me? Probably like right here. I mean it's not gonna give us the best chance to hit, but. It'll keep us alive a little longer. We're going to dart in and shoot and then dart out again. With these things, that's really the only thing you can do. is like a shoot and scoot, right? You come in, take your shot, and get the hell out. Uh, going for the leg. Let's go all in, because we might not get another shot. Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay. Critical hit, Commander. Panicking. Short range missiles are out. So they got another Irby back I'm there. Alright. You should probably be able to pull the leg from this guy. Let's put you mm, here. Facing them. Okay, yeah, we toasted this side. Well hopefully we can hit the leg. I'll leave the incendiary rockets off. Fire the rest. Wow, we miss with Do we miss with both of the pulses? Are there none who can stand before me? I mean he's gone anyway, but still. Those were pretty good chances to hit and we missed. Standing it's by. not gonna make for good TV. That's what I'll tell ya. Uh, do we want to hold off and How many guys have they got left to go? One, right? That guy's going on ten? Let's just reserve. Waiting for my opening. See where that commando goes. We can't get a shot at him anyway, there's no point in moving. We'll absorb that. I mean not that we can do anything else, but Orders. Orders? Let's get you up to here. See if we can burn through his side here. So, I did start a couple of uh, Marion Hegemony playthroughs before this one because I was just interested to see what kind of mechs we were going to start with and stuff. Roger that. And then I, um, wow, Streak didn't hit, eh? Good leg Four damage, though. Um, yeah. And we had a, a bunch of really good starts, like Centurion. We had, what else did we get? We had one start was like a Hunchback, a Centurion, Roger and a trebuchet I believe uh, so we had a bunch of really good starts and then I'm like okay cool I'm ready to start for real I start for real and this is what I <laughs> I guess this is what I got and I was like what but whatever that's fine I suppose that's the myth. some of the earlier uh, quick sell mechs so when you take the uh, sales rep you start with a light quick sell mech Do I want to shoot from the 
Nah, I think I want to go side. It's a little less chance to hit, but if we hit, we might Got be it. able to pull that leg. And we'll stick with the acid. I know it does less to internals, but it does will increase our damage against them. But yeah, some of the uh, the early uh, light quick cell mechs are interesting. So you could start with a uh, wasp. I think there's a quick cell stinger, commando, uh, Valkyrie, or a panther. I await your command. So there's a bunch of interesting um, versions that you could get to start with. I'm gonna try and pull this guy's leg. Moving to position. We need to get some good footage of me taking mech's legs and stuff. Uh, do we want to... How badly damaged is that leg? It's pretty bad. Let's, let's see if we can do it. That's really low. Put that on too. We got three shots with it, so why not? Got it, Commander. Nope. One of the rockets hit the leg, though. That hit something good. Yeah, but you needed to take that leg, buddy. Yes, Commander. All right, let's move back here. As much as he could contribute, all it would take is one shot from one of those uh, urban max, and he's pretty much done. So we'll stay back there. Yes, Commander. All right, uh, we're gonna have flames no matter where we go. I don't think, or I think. Uh, let's get up to there, and we're going to switch out of the acid ammo, I think, at this point. Go with the EMP. There's a lot less damage. It'll mess with his heat, but I want to just kiss that leg if I can. Firing on target. A couple hits on it. Trying not to wipe this guy out completely. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. Hmm... It could go against the urban mech. R-71, what's the 71? That's a lot of flamers. A pair of MMLs, eh? Uh, and we're in range for the flamers, so let's not uh, stay in range of the flamers. We should be able to... walk it. Let's go here. Roger. We got medium lasers, or ER medium lasers, so we're pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, let's try and go, go for that leg. If we hit, we'll probably hit the CT, but let's give it a shot, see what happens. Oh, we might have gotten it. We hit the leg, but we didn't take it. Oh, yeah, we did. It just didn't explode like it normally does. Oh, he bailed. Nice. It's good to go. That's like the best case scenario. This guy runs really cool, so I don't mind him moving up against this urban mech. If we have to turn the lasers off, we can do that. So this is short-range targeting. I'm still thinking that's going to be better. Let's put the bolt-on rockets, too, see if we can chase him out of here. Oof, we missed with the uh, AC. Good, good hits with the rockets, though. They are. Let's see what they do here. I'm receiving you. Um, this guy, I swear to God, I'm going to vigilance this because that guy's moving pretty quickly and I'm gonna try and get around behind him here and then get ahead of him I'm gonna go here though because I don't think he can get behind me if I go here double time let's go so I think we lucked out with the initial lance here we'll grab there we'll grab the asset at the same time because we obviously have no choice so let's put one in his back here that's a lot of uh, yellow energy hard points Oh, I think this is the guy with all the painters. I think he's got like... And here 
Uh, what do you call it? Doesn't matter what he has. Cord meltdown. See ya. Next destroyed. There's some great footage right there. <laughs> this is how it's done. Oops. We'll cut out this part. <laughs> we'll just edit out the part that we get attacked. And we'll say... I'll edit it together so that it was, uh... That hit against the urban mech was the last hit in the fight. That's what I'll do. This is how we do it in quick cell territory, baby. Oh, man. I really hope we can find some good quick cell mechs. Because if it... I, I'm pretty sure there's, there's Clint's. I think there's an Enforcer. I can't remember what else there is. Let's get up to here. Let's move. You're not going to be able to shoot this guy this turn anyway. So I'm hoping we can get something half decent because if we're having a fight in a quick cell mech later on, uh, it could be a problem. We can't even get in to do any fighting here. Alright, let's get up to here then. Going full throttle. Next turn, hopefully we get initiative on this guy. He's pretty fast. Receiving you. Alright, Nuke. Uh, well, you can't go very far, can you? Get as far as you can go. I mean, we could have laid the minefields down there and... We have the asset. Just stayed away. Standing by. Hmm. Makes me wish I had jump jets now. Makes me wish I had some jump jets. Uh, doesn't matter where I go. I don't think we're going to be... Let's go here. On the way. Now. How are we doing for heat? Pretty good here. We got one, we got one bolt on salvo left. We're, we'll fire it all. It's probably going to be the last turn anyway. Oh my god. Dude, you've got to hit with something more than that medium pulse. I'm out of SRM. Uh huh. You're out of your mind. Orders. Okay, I didn't even do anything. Uh, we can't get really past the flame, so let's not bother. Move over here. Head down. I wonder if he's that guy was actually trying to get up here to attack this thing. Because I mean, he doesn't have anybody else to shoot at, shoot at. So I don't know why he would go where he did. Alright, side strikes only. Um, get the tandems on. Switch back to acid. Hammer him. I copy. Nice. Got that past is the armor. Good. I'm out of SRM. We gotta leave room for the Clint. Um, my, my guess he's gonna come up out of the trees because it's Position gonna be faster. So we'll leave room for him outside. He probably doesn't have the uh, the juice to get there. Um, yeah, hammer him. Or not. Just stand there and look good. Stand there and look good for the camera. Oh, we got enough enough speed. Here we go. AC5, we're on short range targeting still, right? Yes, we are. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we're too close for it, that's why. That's fine. Medium laser hit. That's all that matters. Right? That's all that matters. See what he does. These guys are pretty fast. For Irby pilots. Trying to run away. What's up, Commander? What do you need? Okay, you can just brace it. Roger that. You. Heat and stabilizing. Ah, I guess we're doing back shots. Alright, well, let's see if we can get back here to, uh, employ the AC properly. Yep, and we can. Nice. Alright, hammer him. Come on, Bubba, bail out. Orders. You... I had to pull the, uh, jump jets off the Assassin, too. On the move. Full speed. I think we had seven on here. I had to pull them all off for armor. There's, like, like this thing had, like, what... 25 or 35 armor in the torsos. Engaging with target. Now it's not an issue when you're fighting competition like this that aren't really going to hit you, but it, if you're fighting sure. two lances, it can be very, very problematic. 
Okay, we're gonna move to there. Onward. We got good chances to hit in this commando. I'll give it that. It's pretty uh, pretty accurate. Hammer it. Nice. Got past the armor. And you yes, commander. can employ your jump jet. Wow. That bad, huh? It's better if we run, although we're gonna be going through flames. Do I care? Can I go to there and still? I can. Copy nice. That. I want to be a little farther away from him. He can't move very far, but there's a potential that he could melee if I was that close, so at least this way he can't really do it. Alright, firing. Okay, good damage. Killed the MML5, though. Critical hit we have no use for that right now, anyway. Waiting for orders. Brace it up, buddy. Managing heat. All right, JK. It's Jenkins. Quick sell. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of this series, but it's that Bro <laughs> the Brock Lanahan guy is just fire. I just thought, uh, how hilarious would it be if some some sort of guy is just selling Quick Sell to like. Put together a series of how great, great. Oh, there we go. Best case scenario. Got some good footage too. Mission successful. All right. Well, we made a little coin, which is nice. It'll cover our repairs and our drop costs, which is always good. And we got oh, three kills in the commando. Look at that. That yeah, that that that's uh, that's going to get broadcast for sure. <laughs> We're going to for sure broadcast that. I'm just going to cut out all the scenes with all my additional mechs and just go with the scenes with just me in them. <laughs> and then, bro <laughs> yeah, <laughs> broadcast that. Okay, we're gonna grab the tag. Uh, the comm suite we can definitely use right away. The endo steel we can use right away. What else do we got? Ooh, a light engine, I'll grab that. Fire control system predator, thank you very much. And a guardian ECM. Wow. That's a pretty nice start. Have ton of LRM ammo we don't really need. Inferno ammo would be nice, but I prefer the EMP for the extra heat gen. Um, yeah, no, I think that's the best result. If we get Urban Mac parts, fantastic. All right, well, we got three Urby parts. We'll put together an Urby. Two commando parts, not bad. What else do we get? Some fluid guns. Do I want these? Hmm... I'll sell two. I'll keep two, sell two. We definitely want to keep the SRM4. The armor can go. The basic cockpit can go. Uh, the 60 core can definitely go. The 155 will hang on to. What else do we got here? Some jump jets. We got lots. We don't need that. We don't need that. AC2 half will keep. The oil will keep. So what does this do? It takes one and a half stability damage for two turns. Movement reduced by 50% for two turns. Oh, that's not that bad. Resistance, minus 25% resistance to heat damage. 20 shots per. And we'll keep all this. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's okay. We may mess around with it in later game stages. Just to see, but we'll leave it for now. Alright, that's not bad. Like, no repairs at all. Beautiful. That was the uh, the, the uh, missile strikes early on. And the, I, most, of our, most of the damage was taken by our vehicle, so that's, uh, that's great. All right, so let's have a quick look at the uh, mech bay here real quick. I'm going to assemble one of those urban mechs and then trash it, but we'll bring it forward just to see if we can get stuff off it. It's probably not the right time to do it, but I'm going to try and keep my uh, my bays here pretty clean. So this is the one with the flamers and MMLs. So we're going to assemble this guy. This guy's the guy with the... Uh, yeah, it's one of the older ones, 2700. All right, so let's use this one. Ready that. I'm probably not going to get anything off it, but like I said, like I said, we'll just keep the base clean of, of mechs that we're never going to use, and the urban mech is definitely one mech that we're not going to use in this series, I don't think. So let's have a look and see if we get anything out of it. Well, his arm's intact. Doesn't really mean anything, but oh, we got an MML5 and a hotshot flamer, some, a jump jet, the light engine. Oh, that's a game changer right there. We got two light engines off the first mission. Fire control system flamer. That's kind of nice because I want to put an overheating mech together again. So that's actually really good. I'm 
completely shocked at how well we did it with stuff off that first mission. So let's go ahead and scrap you. All the gear will get stored in the uh, storage bin, 73,000. That's beautiful. All right, and that will be the end of this episode. Most likely what I'm going to do between episodes is see about getting those... Well, I think maybe I'll hold off. I was going to put the light engines in right away because uh, definitely the Clint and the Assassin could use them. But I think we'll hold off. Uh, just get these guys repaired and just jump straight into another battle. Uh, when we jump off the planet, I'll probably do that. Get those engines in because it takes a bit and it, it'll take a uh, bit of sea bills as well to do it. So we'll do it that way. All right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please go to the Quick Sell channel and check out the Quick Sell mechs. I, I'm telling you, they're worth every penny. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>